Welcome to Cita Tech. Let's take a look at using Bixby on our Galaxy Note 8. Bixby is the actual digital assistant that comes baked into your Note 8, and you can access it by swiping over to the left hand side on your screen, and here is our Bixby panel. Now Bixby does have the option of using voice, and what you can do is say hi Bixby, and the Bixby will launch and you can do a wide variety of things, such as turning on system services, launching applications, and even doing searches on the web. The way that you set up your voice with Bixby is to come into the top right hand corner, go into your settings, and then come down to where it says voice, and then we're going to do the voice wake up. If we tap on there, we can actually train Bixby with our voice model, so that way only our voice can access it. So that way you don't have, say, a random family member or a friend come up to your phone and say, hi, Bixby, and they do a wide variety of different commands. This will train it to your voice model and only your voice alone, so that way you can say, hi, Bixby, and then get things done. So go ahead and use this screen options here to set that up, and then you can access Bixby from wherever you are. There is also the other option of the Bixby button on the left hand side of your actual device. Right below the volume buttons there is the Bixby button and if you press on that it will launch Bixby as well. And This can be done from anywhere so if you're inside any application so let's just say I'm in the Google Play Store and I click the Bixby button on the left hand side of my actual device Bixby will launch and overtake the Google Play Store. Now in the actual Bixby queue here we can see a wide variety of things. I have nearby places powered by Foursquare. I can see some new applications that Bixby has found that they work with, such as my gallery, phone, messages, contacts, and settings. I can see my images from my gallery. I can give Bixby feedback, see my schedule, upcoming reminders, frequently visited web pages, activity, weather, wallpapers, and themes, Google Play Music, and even Giphy. And I can go ahead and come back up to the top of the screen. Now what's also great is I can customize what cards are shown. By coming into my settings from my Bixby, we'll tap on settings, and let's go ahead and come into the cards section. This is where I can see all the cards that are going to be shown with Bixby, and all the applications that have access to Bixby as well. I can turn some of these off. So let's just say, for example, I do not want Bixby to have access to Google Play Music. I can tap that off, and Bixby will no longer have access to Google Play Music, and it will no longer show that card on the actual home screen of Bixby as well. I can do this for any one of the applications that is in this menu. Right below the home cards on the Bixby settings we can see show on lock screen. So if we were to access Bixby from the lock screen we can actually see all the cards that will have access to be seen from the lock screen. Notice that Google Play Music is grayed out because we actually turned it off in the other section of the cards. What's really cool with Bixby too is if we open up our camera, so we'll go ahead and come to the home screen, we'll open up the camera, you'll notice that there's an app over here with Bixby Vision. So we can turn on Bixby Vision and point our camera at an object to search for products online and discover new places nearby or even translate text. So if I tap on Bixby Vision, it's going to go ahead and start it, we'll agree to all the terms and conditions, then tap OK. And we'll give Bixby access to take pictures and even access all the photos and videos and access the location of our device. And now once that's done, you see the UI is kind of all green. And then we point it at something and Bixby is going to try and figure out what it is, either a place, text, image, or shopping, and then try and give us web results based upon what Bixby can determine is in the actual focal point of our camera. And that can be launched at any time when you're in the camera, no matter what mode you're in, all we have to do is tap on Bixby Vision and it's going to load in that and kind of start scanning the environment with our camera. And then if you wanted to as an added bonus, if you wanted to disable Bixby altogether, open up Bixby, tap on the settings icon, and then tap on the Bixby key. That's going to shut off Bixby from being accessed by your device's key. Then tap and hold on the home screen and then turn Bixby off from the top of the screen. You'll notice that Bixby can no longer be swiped to from the home screen. So now effectively, because we don't have access to the button anymore or the home screen, we've kind of shut off Bixby, but Bixby Vision will still be available in the camera, but the actual card and panels over here on the left-hand side of the screen are no longer accessible because of the fact that we've shut them off. And it's just a simple turn back on as well. Tap and hold on the home screen, turn Bixby back on, open Bixby back up, and then even enable the Bixby key, and all of that's right back to where it was. So now pressing on the key will access Bixby, and we can also swipe over to the left-hand side as well. So that's how you use Bixby on your Galaxy Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech, and give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful. We'll see you in the next one.